Hi, everybody. Welcome to Talking with Nova. I'm Nova Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithnova.com. And tonight, I'm going to do, I'm going to call it Time for a Technique. And so every other Thursday, I jump on and show you a technique. And tonight, I'm going to show you um, a card using the decorative um, masks. So I have been itching to play with these, and I've seen some stunning cards that have been shared um, using these. These are the, the um, what are they called? The Butterflies and Flowers decorative layering masks that are in the mini catalog. That's quite a mouthful, but gosh, they're, fun. they're so much fun and they make beautiful, beautiful cards. So two different ways to, well, two different layers to the mask. Um, and I'll show you that. They're just so pretty and you're gonna have to check them out. Hey Nancy, hey Lynette, hopefully you guys, you can just confirm you can hear me. I just wanna make sure, I'm pretty sure I'm live. I heard the beep on my computer, which usually tells me that I am live. And uh, yeah, I think I am. Yes, okay, I am live and I think my uh, audio is fine. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna switch over to my desktop and I will show you these masks. Oh, a bit of echo, I'm sorry, I don't know that. Uh, well, there we go. The audio is turned off, so uh, echoey. Okay, don't know. Hopefully, maybe that's better. Um, sorry about that. Okay, let me flip over to my desktop, and I will show you. And uh, still, okay, let me switch over to just using um, not the AirPods and see if that works. Let me just make sure. All right, I'm going to take these out. Can that, you can just check and let me know if that's any better without the AirPods in. Um, hopefully, maybe that's a little better. I'll just make sure I talk a little bit because it's um, better. Okay, all right, it probably was those AirPods. All right, so I'm using, this is a stamp set I'm going to use. This is a stamp set from the Love and Happiness, and I need a card for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use this one because it's got the perfect Valentine's greeting. This is a really pretty sentiment, sentiment if you've got, got um, you need sentiments, sentiments for anniversaries. Anniversary. It's even got, got just kind of plain plain congratulations that could be used for anything. anything. But this, this is all anniversary, wedding, wedding engagement, engagement, all sorts of things. things. So, so happy, 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 happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, friend. It's really, really nice. nice. Um, okay. okay. These are the decorative masks. Okay, I think that's okay. This, this is the one, one I'm going to use tonight. tonight. I just, I just love the butterflies. butterflies. And so, so it's, it's got, got the two sizes of butterflies. One is the large one that you would do in a lighter color. And then the detail, you can you will layer it over top of, of the solid one and in a in a uh, darker color so that you get this detail onto your, in this case, butterfly. But there are, um, let's see, there are a number of them. These are really pretty. So this one you get, um, I haven't tried these. So two different images that are the same, but you get, this would be the solid image even with the lines in it. And then the more detailed image that you would go over top with. And some of the kind of daisy flowers. This layer is over top of that one. Um, this over top of that one and that one. And then there are leaves, you know, layering on the leaves and sprigs. So those are those are the ones that are the layering. They're really pretty. I have a, I'm gonna try this flower one next. Um, and then there are some background oh it's gone back to echoing not sure what's going on gosh i'm sorry guys hopefully it's not horribly horrible um and then you get these background um ones that you can just use as background these are like regular masks um with just background uh, designs i'm not using those ones tonight okay i have got let's see i've got a piece of polished pink that is cut five and a half by eight and a half. And I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss, which is cut, uh, let's see, what did I cut this one? 
yeah, three and three quarters by five, and then a piece of basic white that is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I'm just going to have a peekaboo of the um, Blackberry Bliss behind the white. Okay, so let's get my mask that I want. One of the tricks that you need to do, I'm going to do a, a landscape card. One of the things you need to think about is I'm going to use my blending brushes. So it might not be such a problem if you were using um, a sponge dauber, for example. You have a little bit more control over where your ink is going on a sponge dauber. Um, but when you're using blending brushes, you want to be really careful not to get, you know, if you go all over, you might actually get some color on from the flower or onto the, this bottom. So what I'm going to do and what I suggest you do to, to stop that is take a post-it note. And for this, I'm going to just put a post-it note over top of the um, part of the mask that I don't want to make sure I don't get ink on. So and I also don't want ink on this flower. So I'm going to try might have to put two post-it notes to cover the flower up. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to put two. So you're covering up the part of the image that you don't want to, uh, to make, you want to make sure you don't get the ink on. Now I'm going to line up my mask. Let's see if I use your grid lines, if you've got grid paper, use your grid lines to get your, your piece of cardstock um, centered. And then lay your your uh, mask where you want it. And so, if you've got post-it notes, you might be able to actually use that post-it note to hold it in place. But I'm actually going to put a post-it note here on the side that's going to hold my mask in place. Now, I've got two different colors of pink because I couldn't decide. But I think I was either going to use the the Flirty Flamingo, which was another pink. I think I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo as my, my background color. Uh, hard to decide. All right. And then just I've got my blending brushes, so I'm just going to pick up some ink and hold it down and then just lightly sponge or run, you know, I like a circular motion to get your base color down. And you can keep kind of going over it until you get the depth of color that you want. And I actually don't mind where you get mine. You may not be able to completely see it because the camera is a little ways away. Um, I've got darker spots on mine and I don't mind that at all. Some people don't like that, but I actually don't mind it when I get a bit of darker color. Okay, so now that I've done that one, I can take this off, this off. I'm not gonna take the post-it notes off the top because I don't want to get it. Isn't that great? Let's just go back. Okay, now take your, the, the other, again, I'm gonna just kind of lay, line up my, line up my uh, card stock, put a piece of post-it note on there. And now I'm going to lay down this. And again, I'm going to put a post-it note on here just to hold it in place so that I don't have to worry about hanging on to it with my, my uh, fingers as I'm trying to pick up ink off of the ink pad. Yes, these masks are amazing, Tracy. Okay, so now I've got a blending brush. I really need to clean my blending brushes. I'm using Blackberry Bliss. Oh, this might be quite dark. We'll see how this goes. Actually, let's try it on here. Maybe not. All right. So again, circular motion. Trying not to um, get it so and so. There I did it, and I should have put some post-it note covering this like that as I told you what to do the first time round and I didn't do it this time round so remember to cover up your your above because now I've got some ink there that I'm going to have to figure out how to to hide all right I'm 
just kind of try and here we go. It's hard to see what's underneath, and it's always scary because you're not sure what's happening underneath. So I'm hoping this is looking okay underneath. Again, you can go as dark as you want. I'm quite surprised. I think this is one of my ink pads that I didn't, I didn't re-ink because I'm pretty sure if I had re-inked this one, it would be much darker than it is. Okay, I'm going to assume that I've got enough color there. And, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Let me hold it up. Can you see what that, so I, that's the, the front, um, flirty flamingo and then the, the blackberry bliss on top. Just so pretty. So I'm kind of changing my mind about my card here for, as I go, um, not, I really was just going to um, kind of keep this flat, but because I kind of did what I told you not to do, I got ink on it. I am actually going to fussy cut out my butterfly. So you can take this and fussy cut, and I'm not gonna go right close to the edge, I'm just gonna leave some of the white showing. So when you fussy cut, remember you're, you're steering, you're steering with the hand that doesn't have the scissors. So, so uh, it just makes it easier to fussy cut if you uh, steer, in this case, steering with my my left hand and not steering with the hand, my right hand that has the scissors in it. Let's cut across there for now. I'll come back and do this antenna. So I'm going to pop this up. Um, just because I did what I told you not to do and get ink on the the way card stop. Does bottom, what you call that? I'm gonna throw on the body. All right, let's cut down into here. This butterfly is so pretty. I have been uh, just eyeing everybody's cards that they've been sharing with these masks, and I uh, couldn't wait for them to arrive. Can't wait to play with the flowers. But like I said, I need a birth uh, a Valentine's card. All right, so I'm just going to take my trimmer and trim this to. Uh, three and three quarters by five, which is what I had my original piece. That's not what I had. Five by three and three quarters. There we go. Now, I really feel like now that I've uh, now that I've uh, popped this up, this one, this needs to be, I know what I'll do. I wasn't gonna use my background, but let's use the background and just add some color here with this background. Now I'm gonna try and do this really lightly in, in the flirty flamingo. I don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm just gonna try and hold this. But I'm just gonna add some color to my background. Kinda changing the card as I go, because I, I had not planned to do this, but sometimes, sometimes when you kinda goof up a little bit, it allows you to change things. All right, I'm just a little bit of, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Guys, can you see this? You guys may not be able to see that. I don't want this up too much. Oh my gosh. Can you see how pretty that is? Just really lightly sponge that with the flirty flamingo. 
And that just adds the perfect amount of detail to this background that wasn't supposed to be. So that will go on there. I need to trim this. Okay, let's trim my measurements here. So it's supposed to be five inches, which it is, and it's supposed to be three and three quarters, which it is. Okay, so then what is this one? This is supposed to be four and, oh, okay, there we go. Four and seven eighths by three and five eighths is what I said. There we go. That's why it's not, not working. Okay, so this is gonna go on to, huh, no, what are you doing? I just cut the wrong one. Uh, lost it tonight. Okay, so then I'm gonna, this is gonna, I'm gonna change this up again. Sorry guys, this is now going to be four and three quarters. by three and five eighths. <laughs> it's going to get so small in a minute that I won't see. Oh, we're really struggling here. Let's get this. Let's measure this. Is what's the saying? Measure twice, cut once. Okay, so this is three and five eighths. So this needs to be three and a half. Good thing it's not too small. Okay, so there we go. Just a pop of the the Blackberry Bliss. And we'll just adhere this down. And right. now. I'm going to put that on like that, and then I need a sentiment. And I have got the Valentine's Greetings sentiment here. I'm going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss. Just... Okay, I'm going to just stamp this here in the bottom corner. Blackberry Bliss. I don't have something for the inside because I use my basic white, but I'll do the inside afterwards. And then I'm going to use dimensionals because, well, just because you have to pop things up. So I'm going to put some dimensionals. Just do it like that. And then I just need to bring in my trimmer. So this piece is polished pink and this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're just gonna score that. Fold into the mountain. And let's pop this up too. This might be a card that you uh, hand deliver because it's, I don't know if it'll go in a regular, for regular mail. Sometimes when you use too many dimensionals, dimensionals on your card, it, uh, it puts it up to the next uh, weight class for Canada Post. Okay, now I grab some of these polished dots that come in two different colors. They come, since they're Calypso Coral and very vanilla, they look very pink to me, um, but they color well with the blends. And I'm going to take and color some of the, um, the ones that are the very vanilla ones. And I'm going to color them using the dark Blackberry Bliss. So this is one of the uh, the um, the Stampin' Blends. 
that you can color. So let's color two of the big ones and one of the little ones in Blackberry Bliss. Thank you. Right, and we will just kind of those like that and then maybe that there. All right. I am very happy with how this card turned out. It's not what I thought it was going to be because of my, my, uh, you know, getting the ink on my my uh, piece of basic white. But I actually think it turned out way better than it was going to. So this background stamp is or a mask is just stunning, and you don't need much ink just to get a really pretty um, background on your card. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty. I wasn't so sure about the flirty flamingo, Janet, but I uh, I like how it turned out with it. Um, hopefully you do too, and you will give these masks a try. All right. Um, yeah. So just make sure you're using post-it notes or something to cover over um, the other because they are layered. Um, I suppose you could cut your mask so you don't have to deal with that, but post-it notes work just as well um, to be able to cover that. And just don't forget to do it like I did. Although, you know, like I said, I like the card the way it turned out more than probably I would have if uh, if it hadn't turned out that way. I just like that really uh, that really subtle background. All right, so hope you enjoyed that. I will be live on Saturday at 11. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to because I'm in a stamp camp with um, 11 other demonstrators from around the world. So we start actually at three o'clock tomorrow and we go for over 24 hours. Every two hours we have lives for those that have signed up for our stamp camp. So uh, if you're ever interested in doing that, stay tuned for when I advertise the next one. We will have another one coming up at the end of April. We're going to do them quarterly. So they are so much fun. But I will be live at 11 a.m. Pacific on Saturday and then at uh, 12 noon on Sunday with a couple of cards for you. So I hope you'll be able to join me. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Happy stamping. Good night.